Um, okay, so this is the effect of sugar type on the rate of cellular respiration. Um, my name is Grace Galindo and I'm from Jamestown High School. So here we go. My introduction, cellular respiration is really important for all living beings. It's a big part of nutrition in plants, um, animals, etc. And by figuring out which sugars accelerate respiration the most, um, you can use that information in things like nutrition, plant sciences, um, a lot of greenhouses and, you know, um, major farms could even use um, that type of information. And this specific experiment um, could even help bakers and bakeries in the kitchen and things like that. So my experimental design um, the, my question was, how does the form of sugar affect the rate of cellular respiration in yeast? So my hypothesis was that if I used confectioner's powdered sugar with the yeast, the cellular respiration would increase due to the increased surface area of the sugar. So since the powdered sugar is so fine, there's more surface area and um, more for the yeast to react with in a shorter amount of time. Um, the independent variable was my sugar type and then the dependent variable was <clears throat> um, the respiration, the rate of respiration. My constants were things like water temperature, water type, um, the yeast time, the timer I used, the amount of yeast, water, and sugar that I used, the temperature of the room, the amount of light in my room, etc. Everything other than the um, sugar and the rate of respiration, I intended to keep the same. And overall, my expected outcome was for the confectioner sugar to be the most successful. Um, and the artificial sugar, like the coconut sugar, to be the least successful. So, yeah. Um, my procedure, I filled plastic water bottles, little plastic water bottles, with um, 170 milliliters of warm water. I mixed in one gram of yeast with that warm water, and then after I added the yeast, I used um, my sugar, and I mixed in a gram of sugar, and I mixed that for about 15 seconds. I then immediately secured the balloon over the opening of the bottle um, to catch the gas released from the respiration. And that was how I was gonna measure how quickly the respiration, so the respiration was happening. Um, I started my 10 minute timer immediately and watched for the balloon to stand up. Um, and then I marked each time that the balloon stood up um, under its corresponding sugar. And then I repeated it for two more trials to ensure the validity of my results. So here's some photos. This, these photos were taken about five minutes into my first trial. Um, I only have pictures from my first and third trials, um, but you can see the reaction kind of happening at different speeds in each sugar. So you can see that five minutes in, I already had my balloon standing up full of gas from the cellular respiration in the regular white sugar and the powdered sugar. Um, I was still waiting on the brown sugar and the brown coconut sugar to stand up and you can see where they're starting to like bulge a little bit and fill up but they're not completely full of gas yet because they're not standing up all the way. My risk and safety, it is a relatively low risk experiment. I didn't use anything that could cause harm to me or any animals in my house or anything. My biggest issue was ensuring that there was no cross-contamination between the materials because I didn't want to mix any of the sugar or have too much or too little of anything. And then I just wanted to make sure that my yeast was handled and stored properly. That way it would be in good condition for the experiment. Um, my results, after three trials and averaging all the time together, the um, regular sugar was the quickest. All the results are shown in that table that I have. Um, my powdered sugar was second, and then my regular brown sugar, and then that coconut brown sugar. Um, my third trial, however, was not completely valid because of the lower temp of the water, so this was poor planning on my part. I um, had my water measured and sitting out. So during the first two trials, the water temperature dropped drastically and affected the rate of the reaction because it wasn't the correct temperature for the yeast. So you can see in the picture that I have here, um, this it was taken after my full 10 minutes. Um, 
where I didn't, I actually only got the brown sugar and the regular sugar to stand up completely. And um, my brown coconut sugar and my powdered sugar did not react um, enough to even stand the balloon up. So um, I would have repeated that third trial, but I ran out of um, materials and balloons and I didn't want to you know, mess up that last trial again because of contamination and stuff like that. So that was my um, little error there. My discussion, overall the results mean that the purest and most natural form of sugar makes for the best results. And I think this means just overall that doing things naturally in nutrition and using natural sugars and things like baking and stuff like that is going to get you the best outcome. And then again, the error in that third trial where I had the water at a lower temperature because of the time that had gone by during the first two trials, it affected the time that it took for the balloons to stand up in the third trial and it affected, you know, the reaction with the yeast and everything. So in conclusion, um, the regular white granulated sugar accelerated the cellular respiration in the yeast the most. Um, it answered my research question and that it provided a sugar that would work the fastest. My results did not support my hypothesis. Earlier I hypothesized that the powdered sugar would be the quickest because of its bigger surface area, but that was not the case. Um, the regular sugar worked the best. And this can be applied in nutritional research, um, nutrition, plant research, baking, etc. Um, here are my references and a couple acknowledgements. Um, I just wanted to add in a couple extra photos. Um, that first picture there with all the bubbles is just a close-up picture with um, you can see kind of the residue on the side of the bottle and some foamy material on the inside that is those are also some products of cellular respiration that was taken after a, like probably about 30 minutes after I ended my experiment and before I cleaned up but I just thought it was interesting so I would include it and then those other two pictures are the sugar and the yeast that I used and yeah